Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the In Groove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm going to do the Record Store Day Black Friday 2023 edition preview video showing you guys all the stuff that we have thus far in the store that is going to be available for Record Store Day Black Friday 2023. Well, that was a mouthful. I'm surprised I got all that out. Anyways, I didn't get everything. The doors, for instance, I don't have yet. It's not coming till literally the day before Thanksgiving. There's a few other titles that are not coming until the day before Thanksgiving. So I won't have them, but just a little bit of a heads up. If you are local or in Arizona for Record Store Day, we open the store at eight o'clock Arizona time. On Record Store Day, people, Black Friday, people tend to show up a couple hours early. That's when the, the line really starts getting to going. Uh, anything that does not sell in the store, and I order so much stuff, it is not even humanly possible for this stuff to sell out locally because I don't think there's that many record buyers. I'm not 100% sure though, but I specifically order stuff so I have plenty of stuff for my locals and for stuff to carry on to the next day. But anything that does not sell in the store on Black Friday will be on the website the following day, Saturday, at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, which is 6 o'clock Arizona Time. It'll go live that very minute. It's set to trigger live automatically on the website. But try not to make this video too long. I've got this row and this row of all Record Store Day stuff. I will run you through it. I don't think I've even seen but about two or three of these titles. So if you really haven't paid attention to the list much, like myself, uh, outside of the first time I saw it, you're going to be experiencing these with me for the first time. Uh, the 13th Floor Elevators, Bull of the Woods. That is on a white vinyl. Let's see. Anvil Cat. From Studio 4. We've got Asteroid City, the soundtrack. I actually, it's like all the employees here seem to want that record, so... That seems to be uh, popular. All right, we've got Alive at Wembley, All Time Low, the epic concert on opaque galaxy colored vinyl. Blixed, just for clarity too. We have Beast Coast, Escape from New York on uh, translucent orange color vinyl. This one I think will be relatively popular. I got a lot of people asking about that. People laughed at this being released. The Beach Boys, we'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas, but this is a really popular Christmas album. Uh, regardless of this being, if this was a record story title or not, this would sell well. This is numbered 2964 on green vinyl. Chet Baker featuring Philippe Catherine, Chet's Choice on Criss Cross Jazz, 2LP set, uh, Elemental Music actually. They've been doing a lot of, uh, a lot of Record Store Day stuff lately and they've been doing a lot of the Soul releases that I've been getting in throughout the year. Blood Simple, original motion picture soundtrack on Varasi Sarabond. Marion Brown. Creative Improv Improvisation Ensemble. This is transparent red of vinyl out of print for nearly 50 years. Mastered by Dave Gardner, pressed at Palace in Germany. Or Music did this. Bottle Rockets. Maroon vinyl pressing, limited to 2,000 copies on Real Gone Music. The Beat Nuts. Psycho Le Fashion, Intoxicated Demons, the EP. The Black Angels, Levitation Sessions. Buck Cherry, Time Bomb. Let's see, 2001 vinyl debut. Limited uh, to 2,000 copies. This is on Dave Brubeck's label, Brubeck Editions, the Dave Brubeck Quartet, live from Northwest, 1959. The very best of the color field. 140 gram blue vinyl. Collective Soul, live at the print shop. Two 
two LP set. Very popular title, get a lot of people asking me about this. Coheating Cambria live at the Starland Ballroom, available for the very first time on Solar Flare vinyl. We've got uh, Rockology, Eric Carr. This is a picture disc version. One pressing worldwide. They've uh, done like that particular title like nine times, I believe, at this point. Terry Callier, speak your piece on Mr. Bongo. Mr. Bongo puts out a lot of great soul, funk, world music titles. Uh, this is uh, Transparent Green Vinyl. Matt Cameron. Gory Scorch Cretans. Sibo Gas Chamber, 30th anniversary on orange vinyl. We've got the original motion picture soundtrack, first ever LP release of Death Becomes Her. We've got a soundtrack, a Digital Underground, excuse me, The Body Hat Syndrome, 30th anniversary. Eric Dolphy, Iron Man. This is on like a gold color vinyl. Looks like the same color vinyl as the War analog cut that uh, Kevin Gray did. You know, it came on that gold swirl vinyl that looks about the same. David J, Tracks from the Attic. Really nice, like a silk screen. Looks like a silk screen printed cover. This is number 422. This looks like one of these uh, hand handmade, hand folded covers. Looks pretty elaborate actually. They only made 500 of these. That's uh, something, 500. If it's something that anybody even remotely cares about, that'll be very valuable if they only made 500. Mexican Summer, Dungeon 4. We've got death. Individual thought patterns. This is how they sent it to us with the disc outside the jacket, but they put it on the front. I can actually show it to you since it's open, but that is the color of the disc. And it's a foil cover as well. We've got the Bo Diddley I'm a Man, the Chess Masters box set, 1955 to 1958. Colored vinyl, looks like a 4LP box set. Third Man record release. Electric Blood. Transfusion. I'm really curious how this record store day is going to go. There's a lot of stuff I'm looking at here that I think has the potential to do really well. A lot of the hip hop stuff, but it's not in my wheelhouse. So it'll be curious to see what the reaction is like. But there is some solid titles that are in my wheelhouse. This happens to be one of them, Gil Evans, plus 10. This is from Kraft Records. This is a mono cut of Gil Evans, plus 10. Tip on jacket cut from the original analog mono master tape by Kevin Gray. So this is kind of a companion if you have the prestige series from Analog Productions. This would be the mono version of that record. Cut by Kevin, all analog, press that RTI. This is one of the titles I was looking forward uh, to the most actually this record store day. That is a fantastic album musically. Let's see, we've got Justin Towns Earl, Yuma. Let's see, Justin Towns Earl, live at Grimey's. We've got the English Beat. I just can't stop it. Two LP set. Fraternity, Second Chance. Fraternity featuring Bon Scott of ACDC. See, it's stuff like that. I mean, there's a ton of ACDC AC fans, Bon Scott fans. I don't know how something like that is going to play in the marketplace. It could be exceptionally well. The Flesh Tones. This is Stocking Stuffers on green vinyl. We've got the Flaming Lips live, 2002. Uh, looks like it's a Boston concert. This is probably another title here I'm going to pick up. Faces. Had me real good time. Had me a real good time at the BBC. 
I'm losing you. It's all over now. Maybe I'm amazed. This looks like a solid, uh, solid, solid show. Let's see. Goody Mob, Soul Food. This is another title. Again, I'm not a hip hop guy, but I've been asked about this four or five times already. We've got the Goo Goo Dolls, Pure Raw Punk, the 1987 first studio album on red marble vinyl. Government Mule. Time of the Signs. We've got Dexter Gordon and Slide Hampton, A Day in Copenhagen. This is sky blue colored, 180 gram vinyl, remastered from the original master tape, triple A. Awesome. See, like this is something I didn't realize this was a triple A recording of. You know, I didn't know this was a triple A release, so I will probably give that a listen to. But they kind of put it right there on the hype. I don't know if that was on the original hype on the website, Record Store Day website, but it's on the hype sticker. Jerry Garcia and John Kahn. This is Pure Jerry, limited to 7,500 on gold vinyl. And then, of course, we've got uh, The Grateful Dead, 1969. Uh, let's see, Grateful Dead's final performance from the historic 1969 Four night run at the Fillmore West. I think this is the last concert that was missing from those four nights. I think the other three have officially been released, but this is just what I've heard. I'm not a Grateful Dead fan. I couldn't really tell you for sure, but that's information that I heard that I'll pass along to you. Mix and Master from the original 16 track analog tapes. Limited to 9,000. This is another all analog cut. This was done thought this was all analog. Let's see. I thought that was the hype. Let's see. It doesn't say it on the here though. Let's see. Oh yeah. Remastered and lacquer's cut. No, it doesn't say this is all analog. I thought it was on the website though. Chico Hamilton, the master on purple marble vinyl. Might be analog. It's not on the hype sticker, but I thought from memory it was on the record store day website. Here's another release by Elemental. John Lee Hooker live at the Cafe Agogo. I remember the time a couple of years back when PayPal would not process any transactions with the word hooker in it. So if you were on the website, you wanted to PayPal your purchase of any John Lee Hooker record, you were auto declined. Uh, that was a hellish couple of weeks. <laughs> Ilium, Fallen Empires. I called him up and told him, like, I'm not selling hookers. That's the guy's name. His name is John Lee Hooker. But yeah. Nothing they could do. We've got I wrestle lives. The hell is that? It's one big giant together word. It's all happening is the name of the record. As featured in Rock Band 2. So, you know, there's that. NXS Shabu Shabu Rarities. This is. Let's see, plus tracks from their legendary live performance at the 1983 U.S. Festival. Ahmad Jamal, Emerald City Nights. This is live at the Penthouse, 1966 to 1968. Remastered by Bernie Grunman. Numbered to 3,000, this is 718. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. This is Mindsets. The Jonas Brothers, greatest hits. Huh. Looks like it's like maybe a, at least a two disc set. The Jesus Lizard, blue, first time reissued on vinyl, metallic, blue pressing, limited to 2,000 copies. Judgment Night, music from the motion picture. 30th anniversary on red vinyl. Nora Jones playing along. This is Nora Jones with looks like a bunch of guests. Yeah, just Melvis Stables, a bunch of guest stars. It's on Blue Note. Jeff Tweedy, Melvis, Mavis Staples, excuse me. Valerie June. Hmm. The Knack, live, 1980. Limited to 2,500 copies. 
Let's see. It's got my Sharon on it, so you know. The there was a missing persons that was actually recalled. So if that was a title you were looking for, that is not coming. Uh, I think there was something wrong with the mastering on it. Uh, kicks. We've got Cool Kids on color vinyl. I kind of like the hype sticker. This is by Friday Music. They kind of recreated that uh, color TV you would have found on a hotel motel back in probably the 70s and 80s. Kind of that uh, multi. Thought it was kind of cool when I saw it. All right, we've got Mike James Kirkland, hang in there. Jerry Lee Lewis at the Palomino Club. I'll probably grab this as well. The right show, man. Jerry at the right show was absolutely dynamite. Live. I saw him live towards the end. It was still a really good show. We've got Kiko. Oh, Lobo. <laughs> Los Lobos, Kiko. Long out of print, classic 3LP limited edition. Original album expanded for improved fidelity with a bonus disc of unreleased demos. Little Wayne, I Am Music. Another show, I might grab this as well. Little Feet. Live at Manchester Free Trade Hall. 3LP limited edition set from the Waiting for Columbus tapes. Lincoln Park, The Lost Demos. Limp Biscuit live at Rock I'm Park, 2001. Man, I remember when this, you know, when Faith came out. God almighty. I heard that everywhere for what seemed like months. Amos Lee, Honeysuckle Switches. Let's see. It looks like it has soulful interpretations from the legendary Lucinda Williams. Using that same sticker, The Monkees. This is a colored vinyl version of Meet the Monkees. Friday music title as well. And I want to say, is this mono? Yeah, this is a mono release. We've got Motley Crue. Too Young to Fall in Love. This is, uh, let's see if this is colored. Nope. The Mamas and the Papas, live at the Monterey International Pop Festival. Remastered from the original analog tape and pressed on gold vinyl. Real nice thick tip-on jacket. Charles Mingus, in Carnations. Remastered by Bernie Grunman. From what I heard, all of these candid reissues are remastered by Gr Bernie Grunman from the original master tape and are all analog. That was in according to Candid spokesperson a while back. Let's see, the Meat Puppets Forbidden Places. Black Swirl Pressing limited to 2,000 copies. J.D. McPherson, The Warm Covers LP. Mad Lib, Medicine Show, Gold Vinyl 2LP Set. Hmm. Got a picture of the Trade Center. Full Trade Center is getting hit on the back. Boy, that's uh, a lot of imagery going on on the back of that cover. <laughs> Moving along, Joni Mitchell, Court and Spark Demos. Let's see, the newly unearthed 1973 solo demo, demos mastered by Bernie Grunman. Les McCann. Never a dull moment, live from coast to coast, 1966 to 1967. At the Penthouse and the Village Vanguard. Let's see, this is numbered 1808 of 3000. This is a three LP set from Resonance Records who more times than not put out fantastic releases. We've also got from Residence Records, yeah, it looks like it, limited to 4,000, this is 397, West Montgomery and the Winton Kelly Trio, Maximum Swing, the unissued 1965 half note recordings. 
Oh yeah, my morning jacket. Happy holiday. Foil cover. All right, let's move to the next row. We've got Nas. I am the autobiography. Willie Nelson, Shotgun Willie. This is a two LP set. I think there's a bunch of bonus stuff on disc two. Let's see, yeah. Bonus disc two is some exclusive stuff. Never before released on vinyl, according to the hype sticker. Nate Palm Death. Summer Breeze. Limited to 2000. Margot Price, Strays, live at Grimey's. This is on Sangria Marbled Vinyl. Kim Petrus. Okay, good. I'm just like seeing if there's anything I'm gonna have to go back and edit out, but it looks good. Oscar Peterson, Ray Brown, Ed Thigpen. The Oscar, P Oscar Peterson Trio, live in Lugano, 1964. This is by Mac Avenue Music Group. Who did this? Two Lions? Hmm. Graham Parsons. Graham Parsons and the Fallen Angels. The Last Roundup. First new Graham solo, mo solo material in 40 years. Live at the Bayou Cafe. What's it talking about? Definitive Graham's complete performance. It says it's the first, yeah, I don't know why it says from 1973, first new Graham solo material in 40 years. I don't know, maybe it's, I'll check that out. Interesting. Let's see, Polog, Die a Legend, first time on a vinyl. We've got Ripple. Soul Jazz Records, let's see, Seminole Rare, Groove Funk, originally released in 1973 on GRC Records. Probably give that a listen to. This is on Soul Jazz Records. That could be a, that could be a banger. Under the Blacklight, Rilo Kelly. Okay, and the title that I have hands down got called for the most, probably 10 times more than any other title this record store day, that is this Olivia Rodrigo's Guts. The Secret Tracks, limited edition EP, opaque, deep purple vinyl, pressed at Third Man Records. This was actually one that was added on a week or two after the list was announced, and by far and away the most popular. It is the Taylor Swift, not quite though, not even close, but it's the Taylor Swift of this record story. That is the title that people will be lining up for. Late Night with Shabazz 3. We've got Spice One, 187, he wrote. It's kind of crazy how much hip hop and jazz we're starting to see, but I mean, that's what people want. But God, the original record store days, there was like no, no hip hop, no jazz. 93 Till Infinity, Souls of Mischief. It's like a record store day originally started out with like indie music, mostly seven inches. Let's see, Studio One, Kings. Today's sound, today, today's Soul Jazz Records. 2LP Studio One comp. Almost done. Screaming Trees. Wrong Turn to Jahannam. Live from the Egg Studio, 1991. Let's see. Schoolie Boy D, self titled. Sparks, live at the record plant, 1974, limited to 3,500 copies. I'm probably going to get this as well. Doing my shopping here live on stream. Sacrilege BC. Actually, I, not necessarily true. A lot of those jazz titles I am probably going to pick up as well, although I haven't mentioned it. That, that uh, Definitely the two Residence records. They look solid. Let's see. Splinter, The Place I Love. On Dark Horse. Billy Strings featuring Willie Nelson, California Sober. We've got Sia, Every Day is Christmas, the Snowman EP. Sweet. 
level-headed alternative, excuse me, level-headed alternate mixes and demos. 2,500 copies on blue vinyl. Man, the hip hop is crazy. Three Six Mafia. The Unbreakables. Looks like a pretty high quality release. Interesting. I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to start having somebody help me out with these uh, hip hop first <laughs> or day releases if they keep getting, if they keep going like this. Let's see, Taproot, Blue Sky Research. Let's see, three co-writes by Billy Corgan. Blue Sky Vinyl, limited to 1,500 copies. For you pumpkin fans. We've got Tantric, self-titled press to 1,500 copies by Real Gone Music. Tank and the Bangas, floating. This is on Verve. Another one I'm probably gonna pick up. Cal Jader, Catch the Groove, live at the Penthouse, 1963 to 1967. This is on the Jazz Detective label. They're only doing 2,500 of these. I feel like a lot of these titles have come down in quantity. Uh, it seemed like they were really getting ratcheted up, but I'm seeing a lot of titles, even the more popular stuff, in that sub-5,000 range. Ultravox, Quartet, Steve Wilson Stereo Remix. U2, under a blood red sky alive. This is actually one of the U2 releases in a while that I think will actually be somewhat popular. Uh, red vinyl pressing includes a, a large two-sided poster. A lot of times it's just 12 inches and they kind of do okay. The Water Boys, this is the sea. Featuring Tom Verlaine. Ah, Wendy O. Williams, The Plasmatics, Maggots The Record. This is on lipstick red vinyl. This is probably a box that I'm gonna pick up as well. This is uh, Wars, The World is a Ghetto, The Complete Sessions. This is original LP on gold vinyl, plus six never released bonus tracks from the sessions and the making of the original album. I wonder what the making of the original album is. is that like a uh, is that like a radio show on vinyl? <laughs> Look into that. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, the original motion picture soundtrack. X Cops, you have the right to remain silent. Holy cow! I don't even want to show that. Go ahead and put that in there. That way. <laughs> X, Ain't Love Grand, on Fat Possum. We've got a uh, Rob Zombie, the Lunar, the hell's the name of this? The Lunar Injection Kool-Aid Eclipse Conspiracy. This is a picture disc version of the album. 4,500 copies on picture disc vinyl. That's like the uh, probably 15th version of that record that's come out. Always popular, the Jazz Dispensary title for Record Store Day, Black Friday. This is at the movies. This looks pretty solid, actually. They uh, reissued a couple of the uh, jazz dispensary titles, and that kind of cratered the price. But those were titles. A lot of them were going for two, three, four hundred bucks. They were crazy priced. Various artists: Light in the Attic and Friends. We're getting into like the comps. Written in their soul, the hits, the stacks, songwriters, and demos. This looks kind of cool. It's like the original writers, I think, of these tunes doing demos. Yeah, yeah that's kind of cool. Oh, that might be worth a pickup. Let's see, Divine's Spirituals, Sacred Soul, Record Story, Volume 3. A gospel record, that's kind of cool. Let's see, the complete singles collection from Black Jazz Records, limited to 2,000 copies. I've never even seen a Black Jazz singles. Man, those must be like uber rare. Very, very rare. Nuclear War, one of my favorite Sun Ra tracks, but this is a Nuclear War, a tribute to Sun Ra, volume one. Did they do Nuclear War on here? Yeah. Angel Bat Dawid, part two. 
nuclear war. I'd be curious how that sounds. Punk Goes Christmas, a Christmas punk compilation. And last, but not complete, again, a lot of titles still yet to show up. I feel like the CDs haven't gotten here yet. I didn't see any 7 inches. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of 7 inches. And I know there were missing titles, including one of my top ones, which is the, Door Con the Doors concert. Let's see, various artists, Rosterdam 20, the 20th anniversary compilation. But again, you can get everything that has not sold out in store on the website the following day at 8 o'clock uh, Eastern Time, 6 o'clock Arizona Time at theingroove.com. Until next time.